You've made mention several times already, and I do want to talk about your latest book, The mm -hmm. New Three-Legged Stool. I'm going to stop you right there. Mm -hmm. The New Three-Legged Stool. What was the old three-legged stool? And then let's get into what's the new three-legged stool. Well, the old three-legged stool was a term that really started in the 1970s by retirement planners. And it was around the early 1970s. In 1974, there was a major piece of legislation passed called the Economic, uh, or excuse me, the Employee Retirement Income Security Act, ERISA is what we refer to it. And what that did was standardized rules for pensions, uh, pensions, private pensions, public pensions, and so forth. So here you had standardized pensions now, and you also had Social Security, which had been around for some years, but in the early 70s is when they added the cost of living adjustment to it. So now Social Security became a real retirement planning tool and then personal savings. So those three legs was your pension, your Social Security, and your personal savings. And life expectancy in the early 70s was probably to around 70, 71, so five or six years of retirement, the old three-legged stool worked. Now, today... Social Security is going to have to be revamped pretty dramatically in order for it to be viable. We all know that Social Security is going to run out of money, so it's going to have to be means tested. It's going to need to have the benefits adjusted because Social Security was just not designed to last for 30 or 35 years. In uh, 1935, life expectancy was less than 65. So the government wasn't even expecting most people to draw it. And now you've got people drawing it for 30 years. It, it can't last. And pensions, companies can't get rid of them fast enough for the same reason, because they're so expensive. Pensions were a great thing when your retirees were only going to live five or six years, but now they're very expensive. Uh, the uh, private pensions have caught on pretty quickly. Public pensions are a little slower to catch on, but they're going to have to be revised as well. So those two legs are wobbly at best. We need a new three-legged stool one that's based around tax efficiency, using the Roth IRA as your tax-free leg so that you can have money saved. doesn't do you much good today as you're saving it, but it's going to be a significant savings to you when you're retired because it's all going to be tax-free. Your 401k and your tax-deferred IRAs and so forth, because that's your tax-deferred leg, gives you your biggest benefits today, but it's going to be the most expensive one when you retire. And then your after-tax savings, because we don't want everything tied up in a retirement account. So after tax means you pay tax on it today. There's going to be tax implications each year as the earnings. But you can use more tax-efficient investments like uh, tax-free bonds, municipal bonds, or like stocks, which have a preferential tax treatment for long-term capital gains uh, for your investments. And you can draw from all three.